Hello China, I'm Babis Petrakis, I'm a journalist working here in Athens, Greece. As you know, the last 10 years there are many Chinese businessmen doing businesses in Greece. They are optimistic, intelligent and hardworking. Let's approach one of them. Greece, the cradle of Western civilization and the birthplace of the Olympic Games. Whether in philosophy, science, literature, architecture, sculpture or drama, Greece has had a profound impact on world civilization. Its unique location has made Greece the gateway to Europe and a crucial country in southeastern Europe. Despite all these advantages, Greece is a country with a relatively weak economic foundation and a less developed industrial manufacturing sector. It is precisely this economic situation that has attracted a daring and enterprising businessman from Zhejiang to come here and create miracles one after another. Zhou Yong is one of these pioneers. Zhou Yong, a native of Liandu district of Zhejiang's Lishui city. In 2000, he came to Greece alone and became one of the first Chinese entrepreneurs here. Nowadays, Zhou Yong often visits the Chinatown area, the origin of Chinese entrepreneurship in Greece. Zoyong who failed in the landry business, began his market research upon setting food in Greece. When he discovered that the landry market here was almost untapped, he decided to rise from where he'd fallen. The small landry stall allowing him to accumulate capital in just a few years. Moreover, he successfully transitioned from the clothing business alone to diversified retail sales. He established the new Oriental Trading Company and motivated other Chinese businessmen to collectively bring Made in China to countless households in Greece. We in 2009, when the European debt crisis swept through Greece and people's purchasing power declined, the new Oriental Trading Company encountered a significant setback, prompting Zhou Yong to embark on his second entrepreneurial venture. Yeah, Συνεχώς προσπαθεί να βελτιώσει το μαγαζί για να έχουμε καλή ποιότητα στα προϊόντα και να τραβάμε το ενδιαφέρον των πελατών περισσότερο. He is a good employee, honest, uh, we have great uh, cooperation. Not only did he expand the physical store's floor space, but he also initiated an e-commerce platform, achieving synchronous sales, both online and offline. For Zhou Yong and other businessmen from Zhejiang, crises are not necessarily a bad thing. Instead, they also contain opportunities. Nevertheless, seizing these opportunities requires resilience and the collaboration of these businessmen. This is also the founding mission of the Chinese Union in Greece. 
So Yong has been the president of this union for seven years now. Santorini, a small island in the Aegean Sea, is a famous tourist destination known for its picturesque scenery. However, So Yong isn't taking his time visiting around. Today, he wishes to meet Lin Chao, a member of the union who runs a restaurant here. They haven't seen each other for three years due to the pandemic. Greece and China initiated exchanges between the East and the West over 2,000 years ago through the ancient Silk Road. So Yong has been contemplating what he can contribute to the current dialogue between these two ancient civilizations. Today he has scheduled a meeting with the Hellenic Chinese Culture Association to discuss organizing a joint exhibition for both Chinese and Greek painters. For this art exhibition, they have invited the renowned Greek curator Mr. George Ataxia Kohoplos to serve as the artistic consultant. On October the 25th, the art exhibition titled The Silk Road and the Ulysses Journey opened as scheduled in Athens. It's the 10th uh, anniversary of the initiative of One Belt and One Road. We would like to show two artists one Chinese and one Greek, and the particular artist, Wang Lei, from China side, works on the Silk Road the last 10 years, while Stefano Zanis, the Greek painter, works on Ulysses' journey the last 30 years. Well, 两个不同文化背景的艺术家的作品在这个画展上面能够展示给大家，既能让我们希腊的更好的了解中国，了解中国文化，同时呢，也让我们中国人了解我们希腊的一些文化和艺术。China and Greece. In 2018, Greece became the first EU member to join the Belt and Road Initiative. As the Belt and Road cooperation between China and Greece deepens, an increasing number of Greeks are engaging in business with or operating businesses in China. In this connection, they established the Chamber of Greek-Chinese Economic Cooperation and maintained mutual assistance, cooperation and close exchanges with Zhou Yong's Chinese Union in Greece. The Chamber of Greek-Chinese Economic Cooperation acts as a bridge, fostering stronger cooperation between businessmen from both countries and helping them overcome numerous challenges. We are convinced that it is very, very, very helpful for both the sides, the Chinese side and the Greek side, to, 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 make, to do business together. And all the business that we have done together, Chinese, Greek, Greek, Chinese, we are very, very fruitful. Now we are expecting, in the framework of the Belt and Road project, the Chinese investments to come in Greece because the only big investment in Greece, Chinese investment in Greece, is Costco. The Port of Piraeus, which means the land guarding the passage in Greek. Piraeus has been a crucial port for Greece since ancient times. 
However, due to the poor management and the impact of the European debt crisis, it was on the brink of bankruptcy. In 2010, China Costco Shipping Corporation took over the operation of Piraeus, invested the capital and technology, and advanced its overall development plan. Through the joint efforts of China and Greece, Piraeus has now been transformed into the largest comprehensive port in the Mediterranean region. Today, Zhaoyong comes to the Costco Shipping Corporation in Piraeus in the hope of promoting cooperation between Zhejiang's Ningbo Zhoushan port and the port of Piraeus. We are confident that in the near future, this businessman from Zhejiang will undoubtedly write his own chapter of Chinese mythology along the shores of the Aegean Sea.